Four years after the BP oil spill and health concerns are still an issue for many. Rashes, respiratory ailments, burning of the skin and eyes, all symptoms that have many asking if it's because of the oil spill cleanup. News 5's Debbie Williams looks for answers on the Baldwin County Beat. On a day like this, it's hard to believe four years ago, Alabama's beaches were in the middle of the biggest environmental disaster in U.S. history. Back then, Al Krill was on the front lines of the BP oil spill cleanup in the Vessels of Opportunity program. Set the booms, picked up the booms, packaged the soggy booms, and stowed them aboard. He says he and his friend Mark Mead worked in a fog of dispersants and crude oil that hung 8 to 10 feet above the surface of the water. You were bathed in it all day, but you didn't know what was happening right away. Since then, they have rashes. It's thick. Skin lesions and a constant burning sensation. Well, I didn't get it till I went through the VU program, so I'm assuming, I'm assuming it's some sort of concoction that this corrects it and other stuff made that got on us. Mead is part of the Gulf study, the largest health study ever on the potential effects of an oil spill. He has similar symptoms. I have the same type thing, not to the degree that he has, mm -hmm. but they come up. The two gentlemen that you interviewed um, seem to be having symptoms that we hear about from other people. Dr. Dale Sandler is the lead researcher in that study, tracking participants for the next 10 years. We are seeing some suggestions that there's more cough and wheeze among people who participated in active oil spill cleanup and also you know, potentially among people who live in those Gulf communities. Sandler says it will take time to find out what the long-term health effects of oil spills are. Two friends in Orange Beach aren't so sure that will ever happen. I hope BP will figure out eventually the sooner they take care of this, the sooner it'll go away and it'll be past memories. Now, the first phase of the Gulf study has just been completed, and preliminary results show a 30% increase in depression and anxiety for those who helped clean up the oil or live or near uh, live or work near the water that's compared to the rest of the community. The second phase of the study is underway. Dr. Sandler says it's important that they analyze all the information they're collecting and get it right before releasing final results. Live from the Baldwin County Newsroom, Debbie Williams, News 5.